Good morning dear children. Today we will learn how to write statement for word problems. Okay. We can call it story problems also. Understood. So in story problem two things are given and that we have to find out. First information is given and the second question means what to find. What we have to find there. Okay, so in statement first we will write the given information and then what to find. In the question if in all, all together, total, these terms are given. It means we have to add the given information. Okay, whatever information we are, are getting from the question we will add then we will get the answer. Understood. So, now see the question first. Turn page number 51 children and see the question 1. Okay, that you have to do in the copy. That is question number 4. A poultry farm sold 384 eggs on Monday, 265 eggs on Tuesday and 318 eggs on Wednesday. How many eggs were sold in all the three days? So now here we have to find the information what we are getting from the question. Okay. So the first statement or first information is number of eggs sold on Monday. And the second information is number of eggs sold on Tuesday. And the third one is number of eggs sold on Wednesday. Okay, so there are three statements we are getting from here and what to find here? How many eggs were sold in all? See children, in all is given. It means total number of eggs we have to find. We have to add this plus this plus this. Okay, now see the statements. Number of eggs sold on Monday, that is 384. Number of eggs sold on Tuesday, that is 265. And number of eggs sold on Wednesday, that is 318. Now, total number of eggs sold in all three days. So, in that, we have to add these given information. Okay. So, we will write in the columns and we will add first ones place then tens place and then hundreds place okay so 4 plus 5 plus 8 is equal to 17 so we'll write 7 here and 1 will write in the tens place 1 plus 8 plus 6 plus 1 that is 16 and we will write 6 here and 1 will write in hundreds place and then 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 9. So, 967 eggs were sold in all the 3 days. Okay, this will be the last statement. Now, see the next question here. In a train, there are 267 passengers. 345 more passengers boarded the train. How many passengers are there in the train now? Okay, this is a question. And what are the information given here? Two information we are getting. Two statements we can form from here. Number of passengers in the train and number numbers of more passengers boarded the train. Okay, and what is the question here? How many passengers are there in the train now? Means total number of passengers we have to find. So you will write the informations like this. Number of passengers in train, 267. Number of more passengers boarded the train, that is 345. And total number of passengers are in train. When we have to find total number of passengers, then we will add the given information. Okay, that is 
now we'll add it like 7 plus 5. We will use finger mark children. 7 plus 5. First we will take 7 finger mark. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then 5. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you will count till here. Okay, how many finger mark we have counted? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, 2 will write here and 1 we will write in the carry place. Now, 10th place we will count 1 plus 6, 1 plus 6. Means more 6 we have to take. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now plus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, till here we have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so 11 we will write 1 here and 1 in hundreds place. Now, 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is 6. Okay, so there are 612 passengers in the train. This will be the last statement. Now, see the next question. So on page number 50. Okay. Now the next question is A school bought 176 computers for the computer lab and 149 computers for science lab and 53 computers for maths lab. How many computers were bought by the school? So, first we will find the information which is given in the question. That is number of computers for computer lab, numbers of computer for science lab and number of computers for maths lab. These are the given information and what we have to find? How many computers were bought by the school? Means how many means total number of computers we have to find here. Okay, so let us see how we will write the statement. Numbers of computers bought for computer lab. Okay, that is 176. The second information is number of computers bought for science lab. That is 149. And the third statement, third information is number of computers bought for maths lab. That is 53. So, now we have to find total number of computers bought by the school. For this, we will add these three given information. That is, how we will add it? First, we will arrange it in the ones, tens and hundred columns. And then, with the help of finger mark, we will add these numbers. Now, 6 plus 9. How we will do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is 6 and more 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And now more 3. 1, 2, 3. Till here we have to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. So we get 18 here. We will write 8 and 1 we will write in the carry place. Now 1 plus 7 plus 4 plus 5 we will do here. Okay. So 1 then more 7 finger mark will count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and now more 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 and now more 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here we reached. So now we will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. So we will write 7 here and 1 in a carry place of 100. 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3. We will write here 3. Now see the question children what was asking here. How many computers were bought by the school? So, what we will write? 378. 378 computers were bought by the school. Okay. 
Now see the next question. A three days fair was organized by a school. On day one, 253 people visited. On day two, 295 people visited. And on day three, 304 people visited. How many people in all visited the fair? So children, in this question we are getting three informations. Okay, that is number of people visited on day one. Number of people visited on day 2 and number of people visited on day 3. Okay, these are the information and what to find here. See children, here also you can see one clue in all. In all means we have to find total number of people visited in the fed means we will add this plus this plus this given information then we will get the answer now see this statement how we will form number of people visited on day one that is 253 number of people visited on day two that is 295 and the third information is number of people visited on day three that is 304 and now total number of people visited in FET. So we will arrange these information and add it. So we will use the finger mark to add these numbers. 3 plus 5 plus 4. Okay. So first we will take 3 finger mark. 1, 2, 3. Then 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So now we will count till here. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we got 12. So we'll write here 2 and 1 here in a carry place. That is 1, 10. Now we'll add 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 0. Okay, by using our finger mark. So first we'll take 1 finger mark. Then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 0 means nothing. So till here we will count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So we will write here 5 and 1 we will write in a carry place of 100. Now we will add 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3. So, first we will take one finger mark, then two, one, two, then again two, one, two, and then three, one, two, three. So, till here we have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, we got eight. So, I'll write here eight. Now, 852 people in all visited the pet. Okay, this will be the answer. Now we will see the next question. In a library, there are 245 English books, 156 maths books and 107 science books. How many books are there in all? So, you can see here, the information is number of English book is given. Number of maths book is given and number of science book is given here. And what we have to find in all. In all is given means we have to find total number of books. We will add this plus this plus this then we will get the answer. You can see the statement number of English books 245. Number of maths book 156. And number of science books that is 107. Now what we have to find out total number of books. So to get total number of books what we will do we will add these three given information. Okay so 245, 156 and 107 we will add. Now we will use finger mark to add these number. First we have to take 5 finger mark. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then more 6 we have to take. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we have to count till here. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 1, 18. So we will write 8 here and 1 in a carry place. Okay. Now 1 plus 4. 1 we have taken one finger mark and plus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now plus 5. More 5 we have to take. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now 0. 0 means nothing. So till here we need to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we got at tens place we got 10. So we'll write 0 at tens place. And this 1 means 10 tens we'll write here at hundreds place. Now 1 plus 2. 1 plus 1, 2 and plus 1 and 1, one more, 1. Now we will count till here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Answer is 5 here. So, 508. Total number of books are 508. There are 508 books in all. Okay? Now, these two questions you tried by yourself. I am going to explain it. Okay. On a school's annual day, there were 425 parents, 362 children and 96 teachers. How many people were there in all? So, what information we are getting here? What are the information here? Number of parents, number of children and number of teachers. Okay, so we will write the first statement is number of parents and second one number of children and third one number of teachers. Now the question is how many people were there in all? Again you see the clue in all. In all means total number of people we have to find. So, when we have to find total number of people, what we will do? We will add the information. So, you will write total number of people is equal to this plus this plus this and then you will get the answer. Okay? Now, see the 10th question. Sony had 243 stamps. Mehul had 197 stamps and Manisha had 304 stamps. How many stamps were there in all? So, what information we have here? Number of stamps Sony had, number of stamps Mehul had and number of st stamps Manisha had. And what we have to find in total means total number of stamps. So, we will write total number of stamps is equal to this plus this plus this and then you will get the answer. Okay. Now, we will do the mental maths. These questions are based on addition property. Okay. The property of addition which you have studied in a previous class on that these questions are based. So, the numbers you add are called what we call it? Add in. Okay, so write it. Add in. Okay. The num the answer we get after addition is called the sums. It's called the sum. Nineteen ones. Nineteen ones is equal to what tens plus what ones? Nineteen ones is here. It means 1 tens and 9 ones. 12 ones is equal to what tens and what ones? 12 ones is equal to 1 tens plus 2 1. 10 plus 2, 12. 7 tens plus 18 ones is equal to 7 tens plus this 1 ten. 
one tens and plus eight ones. Okay. Now thirty seven ones is equal to three tens and seven ones. Now you see eight plus nine is equal to nine plus what? Nine plus eight. Forty two plus what is equal to seven plus forty two? So forty two plus seven is equal to seven plus forty two. Now the question number nine. Nine plus twelve is equal to twelve plus nine. Forty five plus zero. Whenever we add zero to any number, what we get the num the number. Same number we get, okay, forty five. Now what plus seven is equal to seven plus thirty five? Cause thirty five. Now seventy nine plus one is equal to whenever we add one to any number, we get the next number that is eighty. Okay, so complete page number fifty two, children. these quest these two question you do in your copy thank you